save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all their enemies, and by the power of thy cross, preserving thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to thou who of thine own goodwill was lifted upon the cross of Christ our God, bestow thy bounty upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that we damn we meet to victory over our adversaries, having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Alana wa kulla awalin wa ila dahri dahri na amin. Ayyatuha shafi'atu rahibatu ghayru al-mahdula. Ya walidat al-ilahi al-kuliyat al-tasbih. La ta'ridi ya saliha anta wa silatina. Bal waqidi sirat al-mustaqimi al-ra'i. وخلص الذين أمرت أن يتملكوا ومنحيهم الغلب من السماء بما أنك ولدت لله أيتها المباركة وحدك Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial life, giving an undivided trinity, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why they multiplied that afflict me, many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I lay me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine ears are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength had failed me, and in light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things, and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and hath in his mouth no reproof. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt talk unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow was continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. For mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, and my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, and my salvation. 
O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul is thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall pray, praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with, li and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised as spareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit and darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy bills hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have, I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders. <coughs> Or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in the land that is forgotten? But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted. I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water. All the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, put down thine ear to my supplication. Bariki nafsi rabba wa ya jami'a ma fi dakhil ismah al-Quddus. Bariki nafsi rabba wa la tansay jami'a mukafatih. Ladhi yaghfiru kulla athamiki, ladhi yashfi kulla amradiki, ladhi yunajji ma fasadi hayatiki, ladhi yukalilu ki bar rahmati wa rafa. Ladhi yushbi'u bil khayrati shahwatiki, fa yitajadda ka nasri shababuki. Arrabu sani'u al-rahamati wa al-qadai li jami'i al-mazlumin, arrafa Musa turqahu wa bani Israel mashiatih. الرب رحيم ورؤوف طويل الأنات وكثير الرحمة ليس إلى القضاء يسخط ولا إلى دهر يحقد لا على حسب أثامنا صنع معنا ولا على حسب خطايانا جازانا لأنه بمقدار ارتفاع السماء عن الأرض قوى الرب رحمته على الذين يتقونه وبمقدار بعد المشرق عن المغرب أبعد عنا سيئاتنا كما يترأف الأب بالبنين يترأف الرب بخايفيه لأنه عرف جبلتنا وذكر أننا تراب نحو الإنسان كالعشب أيامه كزهر الحقل كذلك يزهر لأنه إذا هبت فيه الريح ليس يثبت ولا يعرف أيضا موضعه أما رحمة الرب فهي منذ الدهر وإلى الدهر على الذين يتقونه وعدله على أبناء البنين الحافظين عهده والذاكرين والصياه ليصنعوها الرب هي عرشه في السماء وملكته تسود على الجميع بارك الرب يا جميع ملائكته المقتدرين بقوة العاملين بكلمته عند سماع صوت كلامه بارك الرب يا جميع قواته يا خدامه العاملين إرادته بارك الرب يا جميع أعماله في كل موضع سيادته بارك نفسي الرب في كل موضع سيادته بارك نفسي الرب O Lord hear my prayer give unto my supplication in thy truth 
Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord. My spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, and to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O God, in our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those with faith, reverence, and fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. <clears throat> for Metropolitan Bulls, Archbishop Yohanan, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the President of the United States, on all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Hear Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our most Virgin Lord Mary, with all the saints, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Allahu Rabbu Dhahar alana mubarakun al-ati bismirrab In confirming the common resurrection of Christ God Thou didst raise up Lazarus from the dead before thy passion Wherefore we also like the children Bearing the symbols of victory Cry to be the vanquisher of death 
Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As by baptism we were buried with thee, O Christ our God, so by thy resurrection we were deemed worthy of immortal life. And praising thee we cry, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Cleanse within, in mind and soul, now like the children let us praise Christ with longing and with faith. And holding branches, let us shout unto the Master, most blessed art thou, O Savior, that comest in the world to save Adam's stock from the ancient curse, thyself now spiritually, having become the new Adam, O friend of God upon Salib, 
لأنه إله مقتدر فلهذا الفتيان بسعافهم يشدون له تسبيحا لك المجد يا من أتيت غالبا لك المجد أيها المخلص لك المجد يا إلهنا المبارك وحدك
God and our hope, glory to Him. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by Thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. From my youth up many passions have formed against me, but to the help and save me, O oh my Savior. Mundu shababi alamun kathiratun tu haribuni, lakin anta ya mukhallisi yududni wa khallisni. Ye who hate Zion shall be put to confusion of the Lord, like grass in the far shall ye be withered up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit is every soul quickened and exalted in purity, and made resplendent by the triune unity in mystic holiness both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit, the channels and streams of grace overflow, showering our creation with invigorating life. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings has the perfected praise. Mina fahi l'atfali warudda aslahta tasbihan. O Lord our God, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings has the perfected prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. For holy art thou, our God, who restest in thy holy place, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time when Jesus drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tied and a colt with her, untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you meek and mounted on an ass and on a colt, the fall of an ass. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them, 
they brought the ass and the colt and put their garments on them, and Jesus sat thereon. Most of the crowd spread their garments on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before and that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And when Jesus entered Jerusalem, all the city was stirred, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the Son of David, they were indignant, and they said to Jesus, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast brought perfect praise? And leaving them, he went out of the city to Bethany and lodged there. God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, put out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth to hear and secret things that I wisdom as thou may manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this up, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today Christ entered into the Holy City, sitting on a cult, and in the senselessness of the heathen longing a hardened state. Of thy compassions, 
blot out my transgressions. Today the grace of the Holy Spirit hath brought us together, and as we all take up thy cross, we say, Blessed O God, save thy people, bless thine inheritance, visit thy world with mercy and compassions, exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians, and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our old pure Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodily powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet foreigner Baptist John, of the holy glorious all laudable apostles, Peter and Paul, patrons and protectors of this holy community and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom, Athanasius Kirill and John the Merciful Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra and Lycia, Spirit of Trimuthus and Nectarius of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, of our fathers among the saints, Tikon Patriarch of Moscow and Raphael Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrius the Merstreamer, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, Minas the Wonder Worker, of the Hiram Martyrs, Ignatius the God of Antioch, Charalampos and Lefterios, of the Holy Glorious Great Woman Martyrs, Takla, Barbara, Anastasia, <laughs> Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskeva, and Irene, of the Holy Glorious White Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable God Bearing Fathers, shown in the aesthetic life, especially Paisius of Athos, and of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna. And of all the saints, we beseech the most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners, who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Ya Rabbi Urham, Ya Rabbi Urham, Ya Rabbi Urham. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Ya Rabbi Urham, Ya Rabbi Urham, Ya Rabbi Through the mercies and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Being born upon a throne in heaven and upon a cult on the earth, O Christ God, thou didst accept the, pra the praise of the angels and the laudation of the children as they cry to thee. Blessed art thou who comest to recall Adam. Blessed art thou who comest to recall Adam. Since thou didst uh, bind Hades, O immortal one, and slewest death, death and didst raise the, up the world, the little children with palm branches loudly praise thee as the victor, O Christ, shouting unto thee today, Hosanna to the highest of, so, Hosanna to the son of David, for no longer shall infants be slain because of Mariam's infant. But for the sake of all, infants and elders, thou alone art crucified. No longer shall the sword <coughs> be turned against us, for thy side for thy side shall be pierced with a spear. Wherefore we say in gladness, Blessed art thou who comest to recall Adam. Blessed art thou who comest to recall Adam. On this day in the Holy Orthodox Church, the Sunday of Palms, we celebrate the radiant and glorious festival of the entrance of our Lord Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. He who stretcheth out the firmament and sat on the fall seeketh to release mortals from unreason. Jesus came to Bethany on the Sunday following before the six days of the Mosaic Passover. 
On the following day, he sent two, two of his disciples who brought him a donkey on which he sat to enter the city. On the, and when the great multitude heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they immediately took palm branches in their hands and went out to meet him. All cried, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord King of Israel. The branches of palm trees were a symbol of Christ's victory over Satan and death. And the meaning of Hosanna is, we pray thee save. The donkey's colt, which was still an untamed animal and impure according to the law, as well as Christ sitting thereon, symbolized the former savagery and impurity of the Gentiles and their subsequent taming and obedience to the holy law of the gospel. By thine ineffable compassion, O Christ our God, make us victors over the irrational passions and make us worthy to see thy tangible victory over death, thy radiant and life-bearing resurrection, and have mercy on us. Amen. Legatons, the springs of the abyss were seen to be utterly dried up, and uncovered were the foundations of the surging sea. For thou didst rebuke with thy back the raging storm thereof, and didst save thine own people, as they sang a hymn of victory unto thee, O Lord. The Israelite people drank from a sharp and flinty rock when it flowed at thy command, and thou art the rock, O Christ, and the life on whom the church is established, as she crieth out, Hosanna, blessed art thou that comest. Good tidings to Zion, ascend the mountain, and thou who dost preach unto Jerusalem, raise thy voice with might. Glory, glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. Peace be to Israel, and salvation to the nations. The spirits of the righteous cried out in gladness, Now is here a new covenant with the world, And let the people be renewed by being sprinkled with divine blood. and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify in song. God is the Lord that hath appeared unto us, ordain a feast and rejoicing, come let us magnify. 
Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise thee and unto thee do they ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Holy is the Lord our God, the Deus and who are Rabbu Ilahuna. Holy is the Lord our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, that sitteth upon the cherubim, thou hast raised up the might of thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that through his cross and grave and resurrection he might save the world. At his coming today to Jerusalem and to his voluntary passion, the people that sat in darkness and in the shadow of death took the symbols of victory and bows of trees and branches of palms and went forth to proclaim the resurrection by anticipation. Do thou the same Lord preserve and keep us also who in imitation of them bear in our hands palms and bows of trees on this day of the feast. And like unto those multitudes and children who offered unto thee Hosanna, may we also in hymns and spiritual songs attain unto the life-giving resurrection on the third day 
in the same Christ Jesus our Lord, with whom thou art blessed together with thine own holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. These palms are blessed by the grace of the whole Holy Spirit through the sprinkling with this holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. كعروس عاففة له 
Oh. 
praising Thee we cry, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Lord. O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fill us all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace could all among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace could all among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. It is time for the Lord to act, blessed Master. Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray for me, Master. The Lord direct thy steps unto every good work. Remember me, Holy Master. The Lord God, remember thee in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall give thee a praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall give thee a praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall give thee a praise. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Bulos, Archbishop Yohanna, and for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States, for all civil authorities and our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city and countryside, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee our due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The anguish of death encompass me, the perils of hell beset me. In the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. I found tribulation and anguish, and I called upon the name of the Lord. I will walk acceptably before the Lord in the land of the living. 
intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, أيضا وأيضا بسلام إلى الرب نطلب. أضد وخلص وارحم واحفظنا يا الله بنعمته. بعد ذكرنا الكلية القداسة الطاهرة الفائقة البركات المجيدة سيدتنا والة الإله الدائمة البتولية مريم مع جميع القديسين. فلنودع ذواتنا وبعضنا بعضا وكل حياتنا المسيح الاله لان لك العزه ولك الملك والقدره والمجد ايها الاب والابن والروح القدس الان وكل اوان والى دهر الداهرين Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and our Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Israel now say that he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron then now say he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And all that fear the Lord now say that he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Sophia Orthi.
لديك عرش السماء وتركب ابن آتام فاقبل أيها المسيح الإله ترتيلا من الملائكة وتسبيحا من الأطفال منشدين وهاتفين مبارك أنت الآتي لتستدعي آدم ثانيا آم. Let us pray to the Lord. For holy art thou, our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. يا إخوة افرحوا في الرب كل حين وأقولوا أيضا افرحوا وليظهر حلمكم لجميع الناس فإن, الله فإن الرب قريب لا تهتم البتة بل في كل شيء فلتكم تلباتكم معلومة لدى الله بالصلاة والتضرع مع الشكر ليحفظ سلام الله الذي يفوق كل عقل قلوبكم وبصائركم في يسوع المسيح وبعد أيها الإخوة مهما يكن من حق ومهما يكن من عفاف ومهما يكن من عدل ومهما يكن من طهارة ومهما يكن من صفة محببة ومهما يكن من حسن صيت 
إن تكن فضيلة وإن يكن مدح ففي هذه افتكروا وما تعلمتموه وتسلمتموه وسمعتموه ورأيتموه فيا فبهذا اعملوا وإله السلام يكون معكم السلام لك يا أيتها القارئة درستان Wisdom. Brethren, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace will be with you. Peace be to thee that readest. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus, who had died, was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, one of his disciples, he who was to betray Jesus, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and he, as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. Jesus said, Let her alone, let her keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes into the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young ass and sat upon it. As it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, 
sitting on an ass's cult. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written of him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore, bore witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet Jesus was that they heard he had done this sign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in our Good morning. It's so good to see all of you and to see the church full again after two years of having very few people being able to attend on Palm Sunday. It is the day when we bring our children because I think this is the day we want to learn from them. They are the ones who figured things out. And it was clear from the reading that we just heard from the Gospel they are the ones who have much to teach us today and probably every day if we listen to what, they, uh, to what they want to teach us through their life and through their joy and the peace they have in their minds. How many times we as an adult, we are like the disciples, could not understand what had happened. We as adults, we cannot see God as He is and we envy children for a few things that they can do that we as adults cannot do. We probably envy children because they have the real joy that cannot fade. We envy children sometimes because God had opened their minds and gave them wisdom and put to shame the adults. And probably we envy them because of the peace with which they sleep and they don't have to worry about anything. In contrast, we as adults, we get excited about so many things and then soon enough they fade away and we discover we are left with our frustrations and our expectations let down. Sometimes we discover how hearts are hardened and we are not able to see how God is working in our lives and we cannot listen to Him trying to push us to the right thing to do. And we are left sometimes without even any faith because God is not working in our lives the way we expect Him to work. The third thing we envy children is the peace. How many times we lose sleep because of a comment from a friend or a colleague or a family member or a mother-in-law, then we, are, we lose sleep because we don't have the peace that will outcast all the troubles that we have in our lives. Today, our children are going to teach us how this guy who came in on a donkey is the true king. Although all the adults at the time thought that how come they were shouting and yelling that this is the king of the Jews, and he was coming on a donkey, not on a horse, not in the crowd that they were expecting him, because what they were expecting from Jesus is to become a political leader, a one who would kick out the Romans and all and gain independence for their pe people. These leaders, the so-called leaders, did not recognize that their Lord is a humble Lord, a one who would come on a donkey to come and really save us from what really matters. He, but the issue is we as adults all the time, we expect God to work for us, to meet our expectations. How could He be a God in the first place if He is not able to meet my expectations of what He should be doing as a God? But this God comes also to the city of peace, to be crucified for his people because he knew that the enemy is not the Roman Empire. The true enemy that we have, we all have as humans, is death. Our fear of death 
is the true enemy and he was coming to save us from that enemy. Just look at the feed of your social media and you will know what it means, the fear of death, the fear of being forgotten. All we do on social media is to remind our so-called friends that we exist and we lead an interesting life so that they will continue to remember that we are here. Although he was willing to die for us, he was coming to die out of love and only out of love. And he was so humble to come on a donkey, but he was not willing to force himself on his people. And he continues to do the same thing. Our Lord and our God will never force himself on us. He claimed to be a king and everyone acknowledged him to be the king, but he did not care about thrones made of gold. He cares about the throne of our hearts and that's where he wants to be a king. He respects our freedom and even if we decide to go with other gods, he is willing to let go of us because this is how much he respects our freedoms. Unlike our political, bankrupt political reader, leaders who care about our freedoms as long as we use our freedoms to vote for them. Not when Jesus is the leader. Beloved, we come today to have some joy in our lives. We bring our children because we want to imitate them to get some of their joy that does not fade. We come to Jerusalem because he wants to overcome the enemy that we have. So let us not fall into the trap of joy that is fading, the superficial joy that we have in our lives, the many likes that we are going to get for our pictures because of our cute little, our cute children or our cute outfit on social media. This is a joy that will fade soon enough. But the true joy comes when we abide in the Lord and when the Lord abides in us, when we communicate, when we commune of Him, when we come together to share in the chalice where Christ Himself would live in us, abide in us. And that's the true source of joy. Because without Him, life is absurd. Life does not have meaning with all the struggles and the suffering that we see around us and we might ourselves experience. He is so respectful of our freedom that even if we decide to go with other gods, He will let us go. But remember, if you have children, and we all were children, no child was, will, will sleep in peace in the lap of a stranger. We might choose strange gods, but we will never have peace because we want to be like those children who would feel the true love, the true peace that will come from the one who created us and the one who knows who we are. It is the only God and the only leader who knows that, what it means to be a human being because he shared with our humanity. He shared our humanity. He's the only God who knows what it means to suffer and to have pain and to be left alone and to be forgotten and to be frustrated and to be betrayed by his own people. He is the only God who knows what it means to be anxious and to be insecure because he experienced everything we as humans experience every day. So let us today, rather than just stand at the gates of Jerusalem and greet our God coming into the city with palms and with signs of victory, let us go in with him. And let us, all of us, make our hearts the true Jerusalem, the true city of peace where Christ himself will be the true king because no matter what we face in life it is he who would be able to bring life out of death and bring joy out of all the struggles that we have in our life amen
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. No one is bound as eyes and preserved with precious words with Christ and art to draw nigh to serve thee, O King of glory, for to serve thee is a great and faithful thing even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, through the unspeakable and boundless love toward mankind, thou didst become man without change of moderation as master of all this. Take the name of our high priest and deliver unto us the mystery of the liturgic and bloodless sacrifice. For thou, O Lord, O Lord, our God, who is over those in heaven and earth, and who are born in the throne of the cherubim, and the throne of the seraphim, and King of Israel, who are known and holy and dressed us in the holy place. Wherefore I implore thee, O Lord, our God, and ready to listen, and done upon me the sinner, and the of the servant. Cleanse my soul and my heart from evil conscience, and by the power of thy Holy Spirit, and in the name of the grace of Christ, who stand before this thy holy table, and perform the sacred mass of thy holy life, and Father, and just love for a journey unto thee, and by my neck and bring to my face with the name of the Lord, and God, to the name of thy servants. For God say that these gifts may be offered to thee by me, as a poor holy servant, for thou thyself art he that offered the Sabbath, and said, Lord, and serve me. Christ, O Lord, and unto thee, as high and holy. Together with thy energy and Father, and thy Lord, holy good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and praise the Lord Jesus. Let us always declare as our children the same Christ in the name of the life giving Trinity, now lay aside the Lord, and the King of the King of God, who is the Spirit of the Lord. Let us always declare as our children the same Christ in the name of the life giving Trinity, now lay aside the Lord, and the King of the Lord. Let us always declare as our children the same Christ in the name of the life giving Trinity, now lay aside the Lord, and the King of the Lord. of you. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. 
جميعكم وجميع المسيحيين الحسني العباد المستقيمين الرأي ليذكر الرب الإله في ملكه السماوي كل حين الآن وكل أوان وإلى دهر الداهرين Our Father, Metropolitan Joseph and your diaconate, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For our president, civil authorities, and armed forces, and for their cooperation in every good work, that the Lord God may remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox Servants of God, the Faithful of the Holy Church of Antioch, for the members of the Parish Council and organizations of this Church, for all those who chant and serve, for those who visit our community and those who ask us to pray for them, for all those who suffer around the world because of war, especially in Ukraine, natural disasters and epidemics, mental illness or addictions, negligence or corruption, those who survived an act of terror or racism, and those who lost their beloved ones in such acts, that they may have salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of their sins. And especially for all of you, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God departed this life before us in the hope of resurrection and life eternal. Those who lost their lives in acts of war or terror or racism, because of negligence or corruption or because of natural disasters or pandemics in this country and around the world, especially for all your departed beloved ones. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. 
Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another, that with one accord we may confess. Christ is in our midst. He is in our shadows. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who speak by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to him thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who didst bring us from non-existence into being. And when he had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou had brought us up to heaven, and had endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. 
For all these things we give thanks unto Thee and to Thine only begotten Son and to Thy Holy Spirit. For all things of which we know, of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto Thee also for this ministry which Thou dost vouchsafe to receive at our hands, even though there stand beside Thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, With these blessed powers we also, O Master, who lovest mankind, cry aloud and say, Holy art thou and all holy, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou and all holy and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved thy world as to give thine only begotten Son, that all who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Who, when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy and immaculate and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Having in remembrance, therefore, the saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the third day resurrection, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, thine own of thine own, we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. Again, we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship, and we beseech Thee, and pray Thee, and supplicate Thee. Send down Thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here spread forth. Bless the Mass of the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of Thy Christ. Amen. Bless the Mass of the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of Thy Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless both, Master. Changing them by Thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto vigilance of soul, unto forgiveness of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, and unto boldness toward thee, not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this rational worship for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith.
especially our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Among the first, be mindful, O Lord, of our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And of those who offer these precious and holy gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order, and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they are remembering and of all mankind. Be mindful, O Lord, of this city in which we dwell, and of every city and countryside, and of those who in faith dwell therein, be mindful, O Lord, of those who travel by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches, and who remember the poor, and upon us all send forth thy mercies. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with thy spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, ideal altar, as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit that us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be to all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy boundless power has made all things, and in the multitude of thy mercy has brought all things from nothingness into being. Do thou thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but to thee, the fearful God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth, and to all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea, journey with those who travel by land and air, heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hear us, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, O thou who sitteth on high with the Father and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us thine immaculate body and precious blood and through us and to all thy people. Prosphame. The holy things are for the holy. Divided is the land. Divided is the disunited is the city.
mysteries, and the creation of all sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. O thy mysteries of the Holy Son of God, be set into a community. For I will not speak of thy mysteries of the enemies, neither will I give thee a gift of the mysteries. The light of thee, the light of the rest of thee, remember me, O Lord, of thy great kingdom. Not unto judgment, nor unto condemnation, be my partaking of thy holy mysteries, O Lord. With the fear of God and faith and love draw
Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. And having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life giving and red mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and our Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For Thou art our sanctification, and unto Thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless Thee and sanctify those who put their trust in Thee, 
Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power. And forsake us not to hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. to the Lord. Lord the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. May he who accepted to make the fall of an ass his throne for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate, all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, all laudable apostles, especially Peter and Paul, the patron saints of our community, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our wonderful and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Good morning once more. It's so good to see all of you that we are all able to celebrate together and to be here and to have all our children here. Just a few reminders you have in the bulletin and on the church website, all the services for this week. As I said, don't leave Christ coming into Jerusalem on his own. He needs us and we need to walk with him. So all the services are happening during the week. Some of uh, all the evening services are at 6.30. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there are morning services as well. We don't have a divine liturgy next Sunday. We have just the Agape Vespers at 1. It's not at 12. We will have a breakfast after the service, the evening service, Saturday evening. So as usual, we'll come back uh, after the divine liturgy for Pascha, and we'll go to the hall to have uh, breakfast all together. Today, as we go out with the procession, come back to the hall. We have a, uh, a um, coffee hour as well so that you can see your old friends and catch up with them. 
the procession is going to be and again another reminder all the services are going to be online please bring your tablet or ipad to the church to follow through the service we have books but also the updated translation is the one online no one has an excuse to say that this is a long service if you are engaged in the service it's not long so please come and follow along the service the procession will happen this way we're going first inside the church and we'll come in the middle and go outside holy bread is at the door so as you're going out make sure you take the only the one that you touched don't touch other stuff because everyone is coming after you to take their own piece we'll go around the parking lot and coming back we will be in the uh, hall for coffee hour god bless you happy feast days and christ is risen we will i look forward to uh, singing this together in a week